Good morning and welcome to a city, a city that is Frankfurt. I've been here for a few days now and it's the first opportunity I've had to vlog. I arrived Friday, nearly three hours late, and then uh, Friday the 27th of May and then um, just been doing what it is that I can do the last couple of days. I haven't had much opportunity to vlog and honestly I kind of don't like vlogging in cityscapes just because I'm on my own and trying to manage well you'll see in a minute what I'm trying to manage trying to manage that on my own and make sure everything is safe is never the easiest thing not to say that Frankfurt isn't a safe city but just basically because I'm carrying so much gear around and what it is I'm trying to do it's always having to try to have like six pairs of eyes on everything so it's uh, that's the case in every city it doesn't matter where you go but um, what am I doing here? Well, apart from photographing the skyline and a few other things, I'm here for a business conference. I won't say what conference because that's part of my business and I don't like to say publicly this is where it is that I'm going to do business because that's not a good idea at all. But anyway, let's show you what I'm doing and explain why it is that I'm doing what I'm doing. I've got a two camera setup going at the moment a 5d mark 4 with a 15 millimeter tilt shift on which is doing stills and panos and a 6d which is doing a night to day time lapse so you can see here uh, what's going on this is several seconds or so of uh, interval in order to be able to do this now what i'm having to do is keep an eye on the histogram because that will slowly be progressing to the right hand side i need to keep make sure it's not going to be overexposing so when I can, I do stills, when I believe it's a good opportunity to do stills. So I did that with a 5D Mark IV. Now, I'm on a bridge. This bridge is a challenge because, as you can see, there's traffic that goes across and there's this joint. Now, ideally, to do my panos, I need to be just the other side of this wall here. However, I can only sort of manage so much so I can do it and I'm not going to do a pano just yet, or I've done one actually, just the other side there. But what I want is some colour in the sky. Now there's definitely colour in the sky that way, where sunrise is going on. Why am I not pointing that way to sunrise? Okay, there's that building there, but that's what interests me, is the skyline there. So yeah, it's not easy to manage two cameras, my camera bag keeping an eye on everything and this is why I don't like doing stuff in cityscapes just because when I'm on my own trying to manage for example time lapse and stills and gear is not easy when you're on your own if I had me and somebody else here then yes it would be a lot easier but that's just actually the work of a lone travel photographer but yeah there we go but the Frankfurt skyline tomorrow morning I'll do another section of the vlog maybe something tonight i don't know where i'm going to go tonight well, i do actually know where i'm going to go tonight maybe i'll do something tonight but um we shall see hopefully it's not going to last too long out here i think i'm probably going to finish about seven o'clock it's i don't know what time it is at the moment but um yeah it's not so bad we shall see we shall see but hopefully this is all going to work out let's see in the next sequence I'm about halfway through my trip to Frankfurt. Today I've been to the appointments that I needed to get to and they've been not too bad actually. And I've come up to a view, a stupendous view across the city of Frankfurt and I found the intervalometer, the batteries on my intervalometer died, which is infuriating because I was wanting to do a time lapse of where it is that I'm looking at. I'm coming back tomorrow morning, which is something, but it's kind of, when these things happen, you just kick yourself. Was there any real warning there that the batteries were going to go? No, it wasn't fading out or anything, but hey, what can you do? I guess find a convenience store as soon as I finished up here so that when I came back tomorrow morning, I can get up here and not worry about doing, getting batteries for this. So what's the view? Well, let me show you. This is the view I have across Frankfurt. So you can see two cameras set up again, 5D Mark IV there. There's the 6D on was well, going to be time-lapse duty. This is the view across Frankfurt. Look at that. 
You will see this view actually quite a lot when you Google the city of Frankfurt. That is a view that you will see. Where is this? Uh, it's not too difficult to work out if you're clever about these things. I worked out where it was, but it is a private view. So do bear that in mind. It's not as simple as you might think. But in any case, I'm going to worry about trying to do my time lapse manually because that's what I'm going to have to do to press every few seconds or so my interbolometer to create a time lapse and hope it's going to work. We'll see. It's not ideal, but I'd kind of like to get something for sure. But anyway, hopefully you'll see a time lapse of this view, this beautiful view of Frankfurt. It's about five o'clock in the morning and if I look tired it's because I am tired. Seven hours ago, several hours ago, I was here in this exact same place doing a, a time lapse as you can hear my camera clicking away there and also taking stills of the, the absolutely magnificent view. If you think what is the view again, let's just remind you of that view of there, that view there of Frankfurt. Now, Last night, the problem I had last night is my intervalometer seemed to have run out of batteries. However, after running around and trying to find some, and I eventually found some at a petrol station, I've changed my batteries this morning and it's still not working. So this is one of the things you get every so often. I used to have two intervalometers just in case, but sadly, I've only got one at the moment and for some reason it's just not working. Why? I've got no idea. So that stress and fuss and trying to find batteries last night was was all in vain. But you know, it's n this morning's making up for it. It's a really nice morning and I'm getting some nice kind of pseudo night images of what's left of the night going into the morning. Sunrise is in about, I think it's about 20 minutes or so. Will there be any colour in the sky? I don't know. There is over that way. Sunrise is roughly sort of behind the camera, but there is a big bank of cloud on the horizon. So will I get something? I don't know, because I can't really tell which way the cloud is moving. I think it's actually moving this way, but do I really care? To be honest, do you know what I don't when I've got a view like that? It's an absolutely beautiful view, it's a stupendous view. So I'm going to get this, finish what it is that I'm doing, and then you know, we'll go from there. But I'll give you an explanation actually as well of what it is I'm doing. So um, let's look at this setup here. So I've got 5D Mark IV on time lapse duty and I'm doing 6D on stills. Now you might be thinking, well, why didn't you do this last night? Well, just because I thought my batteries had crapped out and just really wanted to, to stick with a 5D Mark IV do still. So like several seconds here, I was doing a day to night, night to day time lapse, I should say. And uh, so it's clicking away now. How something I've discovered with a Canon on time lapse mode on the 5D Mark IV is if I normally I can press the the button to the image preview button to see what's going on with the exposure, and it will normally come up, but it doesn't. It's locked out, which is really frustrating because I need to see what's going on with the exposure. So that's a huge fatal flaw with the time lapse system. They haven't counted on somebody like me doing night to day or day to night time lapse and needing to to see where the images are so I don't know if it's overexposing I'm going to have to stop it in a minute and then check it that's really bad bad system failure there on the Canon I would say but hey what do you do but otherwise apart from that the 6D uh, is doing stills every so often and so it's set up like this because I was doing a pano I might see if I can shift it down to get more of a vertical on this but I shall see, but um, anyway, there you go, that's the, the system, and if I just go through there, there you go, that stupendous view there, the city of Frankfurt. It's my final morning here in Frankfurt and I've been given access to a view. It's, it's actually publicly accessible. There's a great view across the city of Frankfurt. I've been here actually last night and the night before and I asked if I could come up early this morning in order to do the view and was told yes, which is great because it's actually a really good morning. 
that way. I can see there's going to be the sunrise. I could kind of see on photographers ephemeris where it's going to be, but it's always good to have it confirmed when you're up here. But basically, look at this view. This is the view that I've got. Look at this. So I've got one uh, camera here. This is the 5D Mark IV. This is doing two second interval time lapse. Just getting a, a wide angle shot from around here. And then including this, there's 24 millimeter tilt shift on there. 60, this is basically doing this shot here. It's about 50 mil. So what I'm going to be doing is quick time lapse on here. And this is doing the main night to day time lapse. So just having to keep a very close eye on this one. At the moment, there's a little bit of overexposure on there. So as I'm filming, just have to make sure that lean in so basically bring that down so the exposure is quicker so it's not overexposing up there but yeah that's that's what i'm doing at the moment that's my final morning i'm off on a plane in about what, i guess seven hours time or so um this is what i do you know it's cityscape photography i love cityscape photography getting up high at the end of the day or early in the morning and especially when you get it like it is this morning it's going red up in the sky which is really cool so I really love getting this type of stuff and really getting out there and getting access to these places when you wouldn't normally be able to come here so I've been very very lucky with the weather the the week that I've been here after I've done this I'm going to go back get breakfast have a little sleep and then go do another place and then go and then put it all together and then you'll see this vlog probably I guess a month or so from now when I'm filming it I'm just that busy. Where am I going to go after this one? What will you be seeing after this vlog? Do you know what? I've got no idea. I have a feeling it's something to do with filters, but we shall see. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of a glimpse into what I do in cityscape photography. I hope you've enjoyed some of the views that I've got. Take care, folks. See you again soon. Sometime, somewhere, whatever it may be, I've got no idea. I appreciate it. Take it easy. Goodbye.